today we're going to turn some flowers. Um, with Valentine's Day coming up, I thought that'd be a great project. Um, I want to say thank you to Leonard. He sent me a box full of cherry. So maybe we're going to do some uh, laminating with that. Uh, but thank you. I really appreciate that. Thanks, Leonard. Um, and I did want to say one other thing. I uh, when I made the video a couple weeks ago and was giving away the magazines, I made a comment on there that they were just sitting on the shelf and weren't doing me any good. And I couldn't have been more wrong. When I was going through uh, putting them in envelopes, I found myself going through them and taking pictures of stuff that I completely forgot about, that, you know, just fun projects. Um, and I, what I did was I had so many people uh, want them, I only put one in an envelope, spread them out as much as I could. Um, so that way I could get, get them to almost everybody. I was still came up short on a few. I think we sent out uh, 43 of them. So I hope everybody enjoys them. And even the project we're doing today came right out of the magazine. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. <clears throat> Just cut up. Cut up uh, some blocks. Went ahead and cut up four of them. I'm just going to do one of them as a test. But um, all right, then I'm just going to go ahead and find center on them so that we can take and drill a, a hole. We want to drill a hole all the way down through the center so that when we put it back on the lathe, we can find it. So there we go. Then just the center of that little square is our center. So we'll drill down through that. Okay, I'm just going to drill a small hole down through the center on one end of it. I'm just going to do the same to, to all of them. Alright, and then on the other end we're going to draw a 5 8 inch hole and I made this little jig to hold it up. I actually use it for duck calls, but this will work perfect too. I'm just going to drill down, I don't know, maybe halfway. Through. All right, then what I did is I figured out where center is on them, and then all you do is take from your center and draw up, come up a little bit, and then arc it out. Just like that. We'll do the same other side. Now you only have to do this on two sides um, because when you're going to cut them out on the bandsaw, it's obviously cutting out the opposite side. So you only have to do it on two of them. And I guess I don't have the magazine anymore, but you could probably make them as as sharp or as gradual as you wanted to get a different uh, different effect. But we're just going to go with a little arc like that. I think that's what it looked like in the magazine. Okay, then I'm going to do it on the other sides and then to the rest of them. All right, then we're just going to go ahead and cut them out. Make it as smooth as possible. Alright, then that's what it should look like when you're done. And make sure that your your hole is, uh, you know, still in there. You're not, the hole wasn't too shallow because you're going to put the, the dowel down in there. So that's what it should look like when you're all finished. When you're doing the little V there, make sure it's on the right side. I almost cut that out and <laughs> screwed it up. But Okay, when you have them, have them done, it should look just like that. Let's go ahead and uh, take them over and we'll turn the dowel down to, to, with a little pressure fit to fit right in there. 
All right, I went ahead and just put it into the truck here and I'm gonna turn it down and I'm gonna taper it a little bit so that when I bring the tailstock up, it's just kind of a pressure fit. Um, Go ahead and then just slide it in there and then bring in the tailstock up and put it in that little hole that you drilled in the back so it centers the whole thing and just tighten it up just a little bit you don't need much to to get it to stick on there Around and around until you get it, get it all trued up. does try and loosen up a little bit so probably have to keep tightening it on as you go it makes a horrible sound Then all you have to do is sand up, sand up the little edges here by by hand. Okay, I'm just going to sand it up, and as you go through sanding it, you know. Just stop the lathe and, and run around and, and hit these edges too, because you won't be able to, you know, catch them when you're when it's turning. All right. I know, I know. Just finishing up with 600. Kind of wants to slide off of the, the dowel here, so I do think the, the pin check probably would work better. Um, but this is another way to, you can do it if you don't have a pin check. Maybe, I don't know, maybe somebody has a better idea how to hold it on there a little bit better. Kind of wants to just pop, slide back off of there. All right, there we go. Um, a couple things I'd probably do differently. Um, I probably would use the pin chuck next time. Um, if you don't have one of those, I have a video on how to make them and they come in handy for, for anything like this where you need to hold it on there. But the other thing I would do would, would be, I would come in with a larger drill bit for the first first bit and come down you know an inch or so 
into this portion and then come in with the smaller one right in down the center of it to hold hold it on to mount it and that would take care of eliminate a lot of this wood in here so it made maybe the pedals look a little bit smaller but there you go all right there we go i just put them in the little weed pot i'd made uh, several months ago um, you can just do little shapes with them i think this one's cherry maple and then a redwood one Let's see all those i'll take take a close-up picture of all of them but um like I said before, I do a couple little things different, but um, real fast. I mean, just maybe 15, 20 minutes on each of them. Uh, just a fun little project. Thanks for watching.